as of this moment, we are going to suspend this presidential campaign. And this is going to have to be, there is no path for me to be the next president absent things that we don't want to see happen in this country. Vivek made a statement and he said that when he and his wife and team, when they looked at the numbers for his race, they just weren't there. So it didn't really make sense for him to continue pursuing that avenue. And I was just kind of like, yeah, you know, that could be true, right? But I was left with a bigger question. Is there more going on? I exposed the establishment in the Republican Party and the establishment in the mainstream media last night. Well, they're not very happy with me this morning, but I don't care. We're going to stay on it. The same people who came after Donald Trump in 2016, they're coming after me this time, but we're not going to let them win. He's not only talking about exposing the corruption in the media or on the left, he's talking about exposing the corruption within the Republican Party itself. I tell you this, one thing that I loved about what he said is stop sending money to these foreign countries. And he got a lot of flack, even from a lot of people who are more conservative and Republican. Now, one thing that really stood out to me in a not so good way was there was somebody who questioned him and asked him, do you really want to stop giving money to the I country? And he appeared to backtrack. And that kind of left me like, oh, what's going on there? Why are you backtracking? We will not stop till we get this job done. You, know, you have the likes of the RNC chair. She's saying she's going to cut me off of funding from there. Great. I don't want it anyway. This is a grassroots movement and send a message to the establishment that we the people are the ones who are actually in charge, not you cronies, whether it's in the Republican Party, the Democratic Party or the media. We're done with you. He talked about the RNC cutting off funding. And this is how you know both parties are controlled. Anybody who's in politics is going to be paid. And a lot of these people, they get undercover money, right? They're going to be paid to say what the powers want them to say and do what the powers want them to do. These are lobbying interests. Here's the hard truth, and nobody seems to want to acknowledge it, but it's what's happening in plain sight. And I'm going to ask you to open your eyes. They want to narrow this down to a two horse race between Donald Trump and Nikki Haley, a puppet who they can control. Then they want to eliminate Donald Trump this spring or whenever it is and trot their puppet into the White House. It's hiding in plain sight. I know what happened in 2020 um, and I'm not really into all of these different elections because I'm like, OK, are they going to try to pull what they pulled in 2020 all over again? It is all of this pointless. So he's absolutely right. They want somebody in there that they can control. Nikki Haley firmly stands by one of their key things. Right? And when I say they, I'm talking about the powers here. They know that she is somebody who can probably be bought for a price to say and do the things they want her to do. Why did Vivek Ramaswamy really drop out of the race? Was he actually threatened? He made a video saying that they were coming after him. And I am sure he did not disclose all of the details about what he meant for his safety and that of his own family. So I don't think a lot of people understand what's going on behind the scenes. When you are somebody who's running for such a powerful office as president, even people who run for more local offices, you don't think that they're getting threats? You don't think that they're getting money under the table to push certain agendas? It's happening everywhere, right? And, and this is why it's important to know what you stand for and stand firmly by that. There are a lot of conservatives out there and, and even people on the left who have some parts of the truth, okay? But when you whether you're on the right or left, when you get to certain truths, you will be shut down. They, they will not allow you to continue to go public with certain truths.
And in my opinion, that is how you know you've kind of struck gold when it comes to what they want people to not see or hear about. Even though Vivek is out of the race, I hope he continues to speak and seek truth. The fact of the matter is, I don't think that he's going to completely step away from everything. I think that he's going to be working with the Trump campaign in some way, whether that's VP or press secretary or some other high level position. I have no idea, but I do know that I hope he continues to speak the truth unapologetically and does not backtrack on those truths. As we move forward into this um, whole election season, (laughs) which I keep telling y'all, I am just like, this is all but a puppet show. But anyway, um, just stand prayerful about everything and keep your head up, keep seeking truth. That is all for now. I want to thank you so much for watching and until the next video, take care. God bless you. And I hope to see you in the next one.